So let's open up with two questions. What do we have with us here today? Well, we have the Corsair Obsidian 800D case. Well, we have two of them actually, but that's besides the point. The second thing is, why am I standing on a box? And the answer to that is that if I don't stand on a box, I look like a midget next to this case. The first thing you notice about the 800D is that it is just huge. And there's a reason for that, because they've packed an awful lot of features into this case. It's Corsair's very first case, but over the next couple minutes, we're gonna take a look at what we really, really liked and a couple things that we didn't like so much about their first PC case ever. So stay tuned. So this is actually the first time we've taken a look at a case on Tech Tips and I didn't really want to do my own first impressions because I was totally biased about it. As soon as I saw this case, everything from the, the one button side panel removal to the fact that you can jam so much liquid cooling in this thing, it's not even funny. Triple rad in the top, 120 at the back, all that good stuff. I, I couldn't give a first impressions of it honestly. So I said to the cameraman, fine, what do you think of it? And he's a Mac guy, right? So he's like, well, I like the look. And I said, well, what would you like about the look? You can't just say that. And he says, well, I like it's all black. And I said, yeah, everything in this case is black. From the brushed aluminum front panel to the steel construction is all powder coated black. The fans are black. Everything's black except for a couple white Corsair logos. Even the cables on the fans, all black. So I said, fine, what else do you like? Because that's some pretty good feedback. He said, well, I like that it's raised. And again, this is something is by design because you've got these fan filters in the bottom. Most of the air comes into this case from the bottom. The way Corsair's set up the cooling is with zones. So that's why it's raised up. So all of the different zones of cooling, three different zones, can get access to nice fresh air. And I said, well, fine, what else do you like about it? Because this is good, good feedback. And he says, well, I like the elegant the elegance of it. It's a very simple design, it's a square. And you'd think there'd be other stuff on the market, but really we're stuck with sort of flashy, uh, you love it or you hate it design. So I think it's quite neutral that way because you can dress it up, it's got a window, you can put lights in it or whatever. But if you don't want that, then you can have a nice, plain, elegant looking case. So one of the features that's gonna to appeal to everyone, not just the niche enthusiast guys, is the cable management aspect of this case. If you check out our Core i5 overclocking guide, you can see I did a build in there, looks super tidy, super tight, and it took me about 15, 20 minutes. To do that in a normal case, I'm looking at maybe an hour, two hours, plus cutting. I'm gonna to have to cut in order to actually get the cables around. So you can use all the space that they've got on the back of the motherboard tray and all these little grommets which are positioned for any conceivable configuration you could have to make sure that you've got as short as possible cable runs so you can do a nice build. Now the other thing that people are gonna love about this case is the hot swap. And that was one of the features that Corsair talked about a lot about this case. So you can see here you've got a SATA backplane including little cool custom cables that you can plug in. So you can just use one plug to power all four of your drives, it even comes with some right angle SATA cables. And then if you look at the front, you just press the little button on the front, it opens up the cage, and then you slide out each of the trays individually, you plug your hard drive in and you throw it in the case. Very cool feature. On most cases, the back of the motherboard tray isn't very interesting, but the Obsidian is a little bit of an exception. So you can see the back of the toolless five and a quarter inch bay installation device. So in the, on the other side, you just slide it back and forth just like that. And then you can also see that you've got access to the back of your CPU area. Now the reason for that is that you can install CPU coolers like water blocks or big heat pipes that have a back plate without actually removing your motherboard. So that's a sweet feature. Now you can also see these vents here. That demonstrates that the back of the motherboard tray is actually the third cooling zone. So the fan draws air out through the hard drive cages and then out the back of the case. So we've taken a pretty close look at this case. We've had a look at the overall look, the features, and we've come to the conclusion that it's pretty much the best case you can buy before you get into really custom stuff, exotic, boutique sort of levels of cases. So what Corsair's done is they've taken a lot of features we've seen before. We've seen integrated water cooling readiness, we've seen hot swap cages, cooling zones, all that stuff, but they've glued it all together. It's the complete one size fits all package. So, in conclusion, thank you for checking out our NCIX Tech Tips episode on the Obsidian 800D.